Hey everybody, Josh and Trevor here for another Whiskey Wednesday for Argonaut Wine and Liquor. Uh, make sure you guys hang around for the end of this video. We're going to start doing something a little special to build up some, uh, some anticipation for the whiskey wheel. We are actually going to spin the wheel today for somebody. Exactly. We're going to draw somebody live and give them a spin on the wheel that does not count for the original wheel. This is just like a little bonus here today. Little bonus spin. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, as you can see, there's some pretty awesome stuff on there. This is sort of indicative of what the wheel will look like on the day. Um, there will be some other things depending on what we get in in between now and then, but definitely something to, to watch to the end for. Absolutely. Also, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask. We'll, uh, we'll cut in and see if we can get those answered for you. For sure. Cool. Um, let's get started. So today we've got our newest addition to our single barrel program, um, our newest Elijah Craig barrel. So this barrel is a 10-year uh, from Rick House T, Floor 5. Uh, all our Elijah Craig single barrels, barrels for now are proofed down to 94% or 94 proof. Um, so let's give it a shot. Really nice nose. I get a lot of, a lot of fruit. Mm -hmm. um, like a lot of those dark fruits, which I don't necessarily always associate with Elijah. Sure. Um, but really nice. It's like a big nose. I like it. Very. Really, yeah. Really kind of fills up the nostrils. It's also, it's got like a little bit of nuttiness, but not in like the sense of oakiness. It's, it's, I can't put my finger yeah, on no, it, but I, it's a little bit of a different kind of. I see what you mean there as well. <clears> hmm. <throat> Very nice, yeah. Palette follows, I mean, just big flavor. Yeah, I mean, this one is, um, I would say very different than your standard Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig is great, but I think of, I tend to think of it as lighter, easy drinking. Um, this is definitely easy drinking, but the flavors are just big. I mean, this is a big, bold, like I get a lot of that fruit. I get a good deal of spice on the back end. Definitely. Um, this is really nice. This is one of them one of my favorite Elijah picks we've done in the last several years. I'd yeah, say. it's got it's got an interesting note that forever I had been trying to put my finger on what this note is in whiskey. And I was having a glass with my girlfriend the other night and she, you know, I was getting this one note in this whiskey and she goes, oh, it's nutmeg. I and, can see that, yeah. Yeah, and I had been looking for something to, right? to a descriptor for this note for years. And yeah. so it's definitely got a little bit of like a nutmeg thing to it. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, really, really nice. Like I said, um, love all these Elijah picks, but this one's this one's pretty special, I think, actually. And mm -hmm. so super low yield on this one, too. Right. I mean, we got less than 100 bottles out of this whole barrel. So right. um, and you definitely these, don't want to sleep on this one. Yeah, these Elijah picks go quick. This will not last very long. Yeah. Um, so to go with it. It's available at the store right now. Yeah. Yes, available at the store right now. It's stacked up at the front as well as on the shelf. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Um, so, moving on to our sidecar from Debolt Brewing, locally here in Denver, uh, the Colorado Cache. So it's a Colorado beer to guard, uh, brewed with local malt, yeast, uh, western slope cascade hops, and then lagered for two months on oak. So this is kind of different. Yeah, there's like a lot going on just in <laughs> yeah. the description of this beer is a mouthful. I'm excited right. to try it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh wow! Okay, that's really good. Um, it's it's different. You can you know there are some beers like Oak Spire and like some of these other beer experimental beers that have have been aged on oak, and you get like this note on the back end that's just got like a little bit of like a woodiness, or yeah. oakiness that um, really comes through on the back end of this one. Yeah, I would almost describe this as like a lager on steroids. Like it's just. <laughs> like bigger you know what i mean it's, right it's got some of those lager characteristics but it's got it's a little more hoppy you get just a touch of that being in the barrel mm -hmm. um it's definitely very malty yeah um really nice though like i said it's just it's like a, kind of an easy drinking summer style but with a little more body behind it than maybe right. your standard and if you yeah. had to guess what would you think the abv would be on this uh i'd six seven something like that Oh, you were closer than I was. I would have guessed like right around a 5% for a lager, but this is 7% ABV. Oh, okay, yeah. It seems so, like it's got a little more on it to me, yeah. But Very yeah, nice, I mean, though. Definitely something you could get into trouble with, especially at that ABV. Yeah, no kidding. Um, we also want to say a big thank you um, to everyone who participated in our charity drive. Um, yep. It was two folds, you know, certain bottles 
we match donations with the distributor for Food yep. Bank of the Rockies. And then we also had the silent auction. Want a big, uh, big thank you to that silent auction winner uh, who did want to remain anonymous, but for their very generous bid, we ended up raising just under twenty thousand dollars overall for Food Bank for of the Rockies. Food Bank of the Rockies. So. And I've I've talked to the Food Bank guys. They said this is going to um, provide seventy six thousand meals for uh, people here in Colorado. So we're ecstatic to be able to present this to them later this week. Yeah, it was, it was really awesome. So thank you everyone that participated. Yeah. Um, all right, I think it's about that time. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Um, Josh is gonna draw somebody. There you go. All right, so Christina Zoria, Christina Zoria, this is about to be your spin on the wheel. Um, like I said, it won't count for the real whiskey wheel. We're going to so put you back in there. Throw you right back in. Um, as Josh said, there's a lot of good stuff on here. Um, the things you'll see most are Colonel Taylor single barrel and Weller full proof. I'll just say that uh, those are very special Weller full proofs and Colonel Taylor single barrels. The Colonel Taylor single barrel is not here yet, but when it does arrive, you'll be guaranteed a bottle if that's what you land on. Yep. So. And then this is exactly how it's going to work on the day. We'll, um, we'll have a list of names in order. And we'll, we'll live stream it. And basically what's going to happen is Trevor will say, all right, you know, Christina Zoria, this is your, this is your spin. Absolutely. So Michter's Ooh. Barrel Strength Rye. That's a good one. I love that bottle. Yeah, that's, that's a really nice bottle. One of my favorites. It's this year's um, release. So Christina, you've won the opportunity to come down and purchase this bottle. Basically, we'll set it up as an order for you and you just come by and pick it up. So, cool. yeah. So, what's the price on Elijah? Elijah, this guy's gonna be $29.99 on sale right now. Thank you guys for the question. Um, if you guys appreciate our videos, please like, comment, share, help us reach more uh, Whiskey Wednesdayers and come on down and give them a shot. Cheers. Cheers, guys.